Hi, this is Laura Monker, and today on the Gadgets page, I'm going to show you how to make a hanging solar light. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of these solar lights. They're just uh, inexpensive solar lights. I got this one for $2 at Home Depot. And we're going to turn it into one of these hanging solar lights that you can put on your umbrella like this. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need some needle nose pliers, some wire cutters, a screwdriver, a drill with a small drill bit, and a hot glue gun. For additional parts, what you'll need is some picture hanger wire home improvement store um, in the where you buy picture hangers. And um, and then you need these uh, cafe clip rings that um, you get these in the home improvement store curtain areas. And um, I actually got these ones at Home Depot, but they also sell them at uh, Ikea, lots of different places. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is gently remove this bottom part. Um, we won't be using this bottom part for the rest of this activity. I might find something else to do with those, but for now we don't need those. Then the next thing you need to do is remove this glass part, or plastic, the reflector bit. Now mine is these ones, these were the least expensive ones I could find, and they um, are two parts. So if I wanted to add the hanger, I have to take them apart. So the first thing I'm going to do is unscrew all of these screws. Now I'm not pulling out the green tab because it, it makes the LED light start turning on if it gets a little too dark in here. So. The first couple of ones I immediately pulled out that green tab and it made it a little bit more difficult to do the job. So now that I've removed the four screws, this gently pops apart and I can see what's in there and um, what to do. Now I need to drill holes for the wires to go in and um, this was really well made because it has these little markers on it so I can just choose two that are exactly far apart and drill a hole in each one of those so and it's really soft plastic so it was very easy to go through so very easy to get through now what I've done is taken some of that picture hanger wire and um, it's I've cut a piece that's about nine inches or so, eight to nine in inches. If you have a bigger lamp, of course you're going to need more wire. So um, make sure you judge that accordingly. I'm going to poke that through the hole and then I'm just going to wrap this around one of these things that hold the screws. And that really worked the best. At first I tried wrapping the wire around itself you know, bring it all across, but there's some gadgetry here and I didn't want the, this wire interfering with this elect, these electronics, so I'm keeping it far away and putting it over here. Then I just take the needle nose pliers. It helps to pull the wire under first. And I don't know why that was easier, but when I pull the wire under, it's a lot easier to get through. So. So, now I've got that one wrapped around really well. I'm going to stick the other end through, and I want to wrap it around the opposite. I wrapped the first one on this, so I'm going to wrap this one around the opposite one. Give myself about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch to wrap. that around, put it, try to put it under first, and then take the pliers, just wrap around like so. Now that you've got that there, you can put this thing back together.
So, let's try to keep that blue green thing. Oh, see, I don't have it quite back together properly. So, there we go. It's pretty easy to tell when you have it done incorrectly, so. Now you put the screws back in. Ironically, the, the thing that takes the longest on this is unscrewing and re-screwing the light back together. Okay, now your light has a little thing. Now it's kind of curved, so you just want to gently straighten it out so it's nice and straight and you got a good pretty curve and now we can take out this and so that will of course now that I and replace this. The last thing we want to do is take the glue gun and put a little dollop of hot glue in that hole because these things are going to be outside and you don't want water and little bugs and such to get inside there. So a little dollop of hot glue will keep those bugs out and keep it going. I wanted to kind of clean that up a little bit. Clean up this one. There we go. Now the last step is adding the curtain clip and that's pretty easy. You just hang it there and then Squeeze it closed with the needle nose pliers. If you don't get it really tight, it can slip back out in the wind. So you kind of want to give it a really good squish. But then once you're done, you have a you have your lamp. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions on how to do this project, feel free to go to the gadgets page. There'll be a link at the bottom of this video and ask questions in the comments section and I can answer them for you. Once again, this is Laura Monker from the gadgets page and have a nice day.